this is Wednesday's lesson now uh, for your maths anchor test. Uh, so, new objective today, which is to form simple expressions. So, we're still in our algebra block of work. We're just moving on a bit from the function machines from Monday and Tuesday. So, a little problem for you here. Miss Barnard has a football card collection. Yusuf says he has six more cards than Miss Barnard. Kenzie says he has twice as many as Yusuf. If Miss Barnard has X football cards, how could we represent the number of cards that Yusuf and Kenzie have? Okay, so you might need to read that again or listen to me read it again. Pause the video. I'm just going to read the supporting hands. So X. And this X is like this on purpose. It's um, an algebraic X. So it's designed not to look like the multiplication sign. So X equals Miss Barnard's cards. It's very odd saying my own name. Yusuf has six more. How could you write this using the number six and X if he has six more? How could you then show that Kenzie have got double that amount? Okay. So have a moment to think. Yusuf has six more than me. Kenzie has double Yusuf. A little challenge down the bottom here and then we'll go through it. How many cards do Yusuf and Kenzie have if Miss Barnard has 40 cards? So now we're thinking about using this expression that we've just made and putting numbers into it. So remember algebra is just using letters or pictures to represent numbers. So now we can say, well, X is now 40. I've got 40 cards. How many does that give Yusuf? And how many does that give Kenzie? OK, I'm going to go through it now on the next slide. So do make sure you've had a little go first, OK? So X was me. That's my number of cards. Yusuf has got six more than me. So we can write that as X add six, okay? So Yusuf equals X add six. That's how many cards he has got. Kenzie has got twice as many as Yusuf. So now we're thinking a bit of bod mass as well here, okay? Um, let me just write down bod mass for you in case we can't remember. So, oh, did I not grab the pen then? Oh, I've done. Just go with the black one. So brackets, uh, orders, which means like you squared and you cubed, division and multiplication, and they come together. So you just read across if you've got both, addition and subtraction, left to right like a sentence if you've got both. So now I've had to put brackets in because Kenzie's got twice as many as Yusuf. I need to put mine in, so X, add six first. We've got to do that first to get Yusuf and then times it by two to get Kenzie, okay? You could also write that as two brackets x add six. So if we have two next to these brackets, it means you work out the brackets first and then you multiply it by two. So just a sh slightly shorter way of writing it. So how many cards do Yusuf and Kenzie have if Miss Barnard has 40 cards? Well, so if I've got 40, we add on the six, that gives Yusuf 46. And then Kenzie's got Yusuf's number 46 times by two, which is 92. Hopefully you got on okay with that. Right, that's it for the anchor test. So I shall come back with your guided video in a moment.